Hi everyone, welcome to the series of games made with Unity. In this video we will review popular games made with Unity. The first one is Valheim. Valheim is a survival game about Scandinavian mythology that has been breaking down not records since it's released on Steam. The main goal is to gradually improve ourselves, win boss battles in certain parts of the world and go to other battles with the loot we have earned. The plot is linear, but that doesn't mean you can only advance the game in a story-driven way. Because when Odin throws you into the world, you can only craft basic items such as torches, axes, sticks and hammers. With its story and technicality that doesn't require high performance. Valheim has already managed to attract all the attention. The story of the game, a battle slain warrior, the Valkyries have ferried your soul to Valheim, the 10th Norse world, besieged by creatures of chaos and ancient enemies of the gods. You are the newest custodian of the primordial purgatory, tasked with slaying Odin's ancient rivals and bringing order to Valheim. Your trials begin at the disarmingly peaceful center of Valheim, but the gods reward the brave and glory awaits. Venture forth through imposing forests and snow-capped mountains, explore and harvest more valuable materials to craft deadly weapons, sturdier armor, viking strongholds and outposts. Build a mighty longship and sail the great oceans in search of exotic lands, but be wary of sailing too far. Next one is GTA 4. GTA 4 is a 4 player action horror call first person shooter for hardcore gamers looking for a real challenge. Players get to play as a team of prisoners forced to explore and extract valuable artifacts from a vast underground complex that has been overrun by terrifying creatures. Gather weapons, tools and resources to help you survive and work to unearth the answers about your past and how to escape. Key features of game for player coop PvE gameplay that puts you and your teammates through the ultimate cooperation and communication test. Explore a massive underground complex with a dense and dark atmosphere. Plan your expedition, equip and operate tools, combine your firepower, communicate and coordinate as a team. Every detail counts if you are to survive the nightmare. Search the complex for information and resources to help you and your team solve your objectives and come back alive. So GTA 4 is seriously hard. You need dedication and teamwork to survive. This is not a run and gun game. The next one is Fall Guys. Fall Guys is at its core a battle royal. The game which you play with up to 60 people consists of rounds unlike the map design in classic battle royal games. In a game ranging from 4 to 6 rounds in total, a certain number of players are eliminated in each round. The winner comes to the last round and wins the game. A different mission awaits you in each round. There are a total of 24 different maps in the game. These are gathered under 4 categories. Race, Survival, Team and Final round. There are 9 different maps in the race, 7 in the team, 5 in survival and 3 different maps in the final round. In the racing category, you are trying to get to the terminate point faster than your competitors by passing through many different obstacles. In the team category, the game divides you into random teams, sometimes 2 and sometimes 3. And all the players of the team that completed the task on the map worst are eliminated. The survival category includes maps that want you to to survive for a certain period of time as the name suggests. The final category includes three different rounds that you can only play in the final round and the winner is the champion. The next one is Escape from Tarkov. Escape from Tarkov is a hardcore and realistic online first-person action RPG simulator with MMO features and a story-driven walkthrough. It's a shooter with persistent character, inventory and a loadout, a base building feature and the as nails gameplay. The core gameplay loop of Escape from Tarkov takes place in matches that battle state calls raids. In any given raid, the primary goal is to escape the map. A close second though is to gather as much loot as possible. Each map is large, complex environment with many buildings to explore, with piles and piles of loot to find. You will want to collect the best gear you can and make your way to one of the map's exit points. If you die, though, you will lose everything on your body. Each map is populated by a bunch of AI soldiers called Skulls. Killing a Skull gives you access to their precious gear. Early on in your escape from Tarkov carrier, this is most likely to be your primary method of earning new 
equipment. There's a twist, the scouts will sometimes be player controlled enemies rather than AI controlled. Outside of raids, you have a persistent inventory of everything you manage to loot. This is where you will keep your most precious belongings like keys to hidden areas, ammo, rare weapons and more. You can also take specialty containers into raids which serve as a sort of insurance against losing it. The next one is Plugging Evolved. After the coronavirus came out, people's interest in this game increased. Plaguing is a strategy simulation game in which the player indirectly controls a plague which has infected patient zero. The player can choose between various game modes and pathogens and complete the objective. Set by the game mode by evolving the plague and adapting to various environments. In the main mode, players have to develop a plague that will infect and wipe out humanity before a cure is developed. They can choose from bacteria, virus, fungal, parasites prion, nanovirus or even a bio weapon. On the opposite end is the cure mode where players have to research and put together a vaccine before the pathogen wipes out the planet or they are thrown out of power. The game has four difficulties with three being the main ones used casual for players just starting out or wanting to complete a quick game or two normal for experienced players wanting a bit of challenge and brutal for veteran players looking to up their game. However, the fourth difficulty is mega brutal. In mega brutal difficulty, doctors invest in research, genetic drifts impact evolution and the population has random checkups. This means in the main mode that the pathogen can be discovered very early on if the player isn't careful. Next one is 7 Days to Die. 7 Days to Die is an open world game that is a unique combination of first person shooter, survival horror, tower defense and role playing games. It presents combat, crafting, looting, mining, exploration and character growth in a way that has seen a rapturous response from fans worldwide. In game, the player spawns into a randomly generated world or the preset world of Navasgin, Arizona with the objective of surviving for as long as possible against the elements and the zombie hordes. As a survival game, the player character is in constant need of water and food for sustenance, as well as being vulnerable to injury and illness. The game is voxel based allowing for simple building and destruction of objects in physics simulated environment for example building a structure with no support such as pillars and walls can lead to its collapse. Objects in the world degree through use so the player has to search for or make new tools as the game progresses. The player can also gather and create materials from nature and the remnants of human civilization to construct these necessary items. While the game includes wildlife that can be hunted for food or will hunt the player, the main hazard is zombies, which are affected by the game's day-night cycle during the day. They are relatively slow-moving and easy targets that can only detect the player at relatively close range but at night they become feral, which makes them move much faster and thus greatly increases their threat. We have come to the end of the series of games made with Unity. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video to see a new series. See you in the next video.